It has been far too long. I believe the last vlog I updated was last year or like nine, 10, 11 months ago. Um, but I wanted to vlog a little bit around Christmas time. I know some of you watched my last year's Christmas vlogs and they were so much fun. I definitely don't have the time to do daily vlogs this year, but I wanted to try to do weekly vlogs in December. Today is actually Tuesday. Yesterday, I don't know what I did. I had a bunch of stuff I had to do. But today I filmed two different videos for my main YouTube channel. I did one with a kind of roundup of holiday activities, and then I also just finished one all about effective vocabulary instruction, which I think is a great video. Um, I love doing videos like that. Sometimes I'm always like, oh yeah, this video is so good. So informative everyone's gonna love it and then like not that many people watch it sometimes I just never know so but while I was doing that I actually looked at uh, some of the vlogs from last year and I was like oh I need to get out my vlog camera and I actually wanted to show you two of these ornaments that I just got in the mail today These ornaments are from an artist, her name is Meg Britton. Um, here's what her Instagram looks like. I believe she's in Tampa Bay. Um, I feel like I know that because I think she is a Tom Brady Bucks fan. I am a Tom Brady Patriots fan. Still love them on the Bucks though. But anyway, um, I love her stuff. I have one of her little mini artworks that she has done and when I saw she was coming out with ornaments, I knew I had to get one. So let me see. Here's the first one. Oh, okay, this one was called, I think it was called Mint Citrus. She did like a limited release, so there weren't that many. <gasps> Let me see if I can focus that. Look at the sweetness of this ornament. It is hand painted. It's kind of this light greenish color with these little oranges. Again, it's called Mint Citrus. It is so stinking cute with these little pom-poms here. I feel like it's getting really dark, so there we go, that's a little better. And you can see the colors a little better, but it is absolutely beautiful. And let me show you the other one. And this one. Let me get this one nice and close up. Look at that. It's beautiful. This is obviously the red painted one with the little gingham bow. And it is oh, so cute. I'm going to go hang these on the tree. cute oh and look at this one these ones from last year this is from an artist her name is Catherine Dunlap who I met in South Carolina I probably shared these last year um but oh my gosh I absolutely love these ornaments as well these are also hand painted there's a bunch of them on my tree all right, got my beautiful ornaments up on the tree. A couple new things this year. Um, my mom is actually going to pick the boys up right now. And we actually hired my mom over the summer. Uh, we had a lovely opportunity to be able to kind of retire her early. She worked for uh, the city of Salem and the water department for many, many years, and it was time for her to retire. So we now pay her to be like a family assistant and she gets to help out around the house. She does my grocery shopping, which is nice. And she also gets to spend time with the boys. She does their pickups and their drop-offs on most school days. So she's actually getting them right now. And I'm going over what I think I want for dinner. I think I want, I have, I got the steak earlier this week. So I think I wanna make this like steak salad, but I'm gonna go see what we have. Is that an apple juice burp? Good morning. It is a rainy, rainy Wednesday out there. Um, last night I ended up making steak salads for the boys. Instead of putting it over salad, we had steak tips with green beans and um, what they have and rice. So it was a nice, hearty, delicious meal. I didn't really go off any sort of recipe. I was going to make that Chrissy Teigen salad, but I ended up just 
kind of throwing whatever veggies I had. So we did like green beans, mushrooms, onions, steak tips, kind of all those like grilled veggies over a bunch of lettuce, made a little dressing, delicious. I happen to be extra tired today. Parker and I stayed up late last night watching Spirited. Uh, it looks like that right there. This is the new Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds like musical movie. It was so cute, so fun. I'd heard good things about it. Um, like, is it the best Christmas movie that ever existed? No, but for a brand new movie that was a whole bunch of fun, I loved it. In general, Parker and I love musicals anyway, and it was like this fun kind of like Christmas Carol-ish rendition, but I don't know, have you seen it? I think it's on, I think it was on Netflix or Apple TV. Let me know down in the comments if you watched it, but Ryan Reynolds, Will Ferrell, it was a win for us. I also saw a ton of people talking about the Noel Diaries, boom, that one right there, with Justin Hartley, I think is his last name, the guy from This Is Us. We didn't love that one. Um, tons of people loved it. Like we like watching, you know, the corny Christmas cheesy little movies, the Hallmark and Netflix ones. Um, but it like it was still cheesy, but also like tried a little hard to be too heartfelt. It was cute, but not not our favorite. But I don't know if you saw that one. Let me know too. All right, the boys are off to school. I'm going to go hop on the bike and do a little workout to try to re-energize this. Let's go. I showered, I did a bunch of work. My hair is currently air drying. It's mostly, mostly dry. I look like Hagrid. Hagrid, RIP. Um, anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, the boys are on their way home from school and then we have Calvin has basketball tonight. I know that when I had little toddlers at home, I had friends who had kids that were a little bit older and they're like, oh my gosh, you know, it's exhausting. The different stages of life but we are currently in the stage of sports i have two boys six and eight theo and kelby boop boop adorable um but they love doing sports with their friends so each season they play like different sports i encourage them to do team sports i love it for them but currently they are doing swim team which I'm all about swim safety and parker actually used to be a swimmer so he loves that they do swim so he or sorry, so the boys do swim practice every Tuesday and Thursday night from six to seven. And then Theo is playing flag football this winter season. So he has practice on Friday evenings and games on Saturday evenings. And Calvin chose to do basketball. So his basketball starts tonight on Wednesdays. So we have something Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So all that being said, I am exhausted. The boys should be home soon. Gotta get them something for dinner and off to basketball we go. Say hi to Johnny. Johnny the elf is up on our lantern. Who's that guy? Wait, why am I taking the video? I'm just saying hello after school. We got one boy. Basketball. <gasps> basketball today, are you excited? At six o'clock. Yes. And boy number two, hello. What? Ooh, new library book? Yeah. World record 2022. You love the world record books? Uh huh. Um, we are going to make some delicious fried fish sandwiches from Chrissy Teigen's cookbook. Um, I never made these before, but they look really good. It's gonna go with something simpler tonight for dinner, but I have all the ingredients and I forgot that I already thawed out the cod or haddock that we're using. So that is what we're doing. Currently listening to this story. Winter Street by Ellen Hildebrand. I actually really enjoy her books. Um, we are doing a book club this month. We do a book club every month and we chose a different book. It was called Always in December, but another member of the book club read Winter Street and loved it. So since I finished that one, listening to this, I think I like this one a little better. Let's make dinner.
Thursday. Um, today is a half day for both the boys uh, because today and tomorrow the teachers have half days for parent teacher conferences. So at one o'clock we are going to see Theo's teacher to hear how he's doing in school and we're also going to see Calvin's teacher. Um, and chit chat with her. I know Calvin's teacher a little bit better. I subbed for her a lot last year. Um, so I just have a little better rapport with her, but I'm excited to really get to talk to Theo's teacher and see how he's doing in class this year. We also, unfortunately, at the beginning of the year, we had to miss open house. Parker and I had our anniversary. Uh, we already had a little like mini overnight planned and I tried to switch it around, but the hotel was already booked when open house was announced. So we didn't get to go to open house, which was a bummer on my part. This morning I wrote up a blog post finally. I haven't written a blog post since August. My god, so bad. Um, so I'm gonna try to get the start of another blog post ready and uploaded. At least hopefully I can get two done today, which should be good. Um, and then yeah, parent-teacher conferences and that's my day. Some of my other YouTube videos you might know that usually in my office I have a big huge crate for Sully. He's got like the ginormous one for a Great Dane because we didn't know how tall he was going to get. Um, and he is pretty tall so I do think he needs this one but he's not that huge. He's like 85 pounds um, which is pretty small for a male burner actually. Bernice Mountain Dog. Um, but anyways we finally moved that crate out of my office to the downstairs basement so I can actually have a bit of a professional office now. So look at some of the stuff that we got. So this is where Sully's crate used to be. I got this nice tall bookshelf here. This has oh, all my stuff down here. We have bins on bins. I just got plastic bins so I could see everything. It doesn't look the neatest you know, since they're clear, but I enjoy being able to see everything. So a lot of math manipulatives. We have some craft stuff that I use on a daily basis. That's like my literacy bin with all my letter magnets and reading lights, bingo daubers, geo boards. Yeah, all sorts of fun. This right here is a an adorable little J that I got from Anthropology this year for Christmas. I thought it would be cute to decorate for Christmas a little in my office. Here I just have a little paper tray for all the printouts that I do uh, instead of just keeping them in a big pile. I got a little paper tray. Then I have these that I got from Target. Go up a shelf and we have another open shelf. This is my blending board. Some people have asked about this in the past. This was from the IMSI training, uh, the Institute of Multisense, what is it? The Institute of Multisensory Education. I did OG training through them a little bit ago and I got this blending board. So I have all the cards, but I put Teach up there. Then just some black markers that I use on the regular. Um, this is just a balance. I didn't know where to put it right now. I could hide it away in here. I would open these, but my sister edits these videos and my secret Santa gift is in here. And I don't want her to know who I have. And then I just have some top shelves with some random stuff. Does it drive anyone else crazy that I'm missing the one here? I don't know where it went. It was a red bin. I can't find it. I think I'll replace those because it's driving me crazy. And then on this side of the office, I got the matching. This is the low one. So it matches that over there. I think they were both, both from West Elm. Um, but this is the low one. This is where I have most of the books I grab on a regular basis. Uh, and then I have my MZ training manuals, my letters training manuals. That bin right there is just random stuff I have to get rid of. More books and paper down here. I finally have my printer off the ground. It was on the ground since we bought this house three years ago. I have my little, little candle here that I light. I need to hang these paintings, you know, somewhere. Then I have some paperwork over here that I got. My YouTube plaque, one of my prized possessions. And of course my master's degree that I worked so hard to finally complete. But yeah, three years later and I finally have a finished office. I also have, I think I put a clip in there earlier, but my desk is a standing desk. Um, I got this, I don't remember what side I got it on, but let me show you. So the standing desk I bought is by Fully. I think, I, I don't remember, I just typed in like best ones and I found this one online, but it has these automatic settings here. 
Um, it's a little touch screen. So one is sitting. Obviously, it's at the standing now. I just push my chair underneath it when I'm standing. Two is the perfect standing height. That's where it's at now. It's good for me to stand up, which I actually love doing. So much better for my back. And then three makes it go a little bit higher um, for my treadmill desk. I got a little, or not treadmill desk, but walking pad. Don't mind my sub backpack, which gets a lot of use lately. Um, but I bought this little walking pad and I will sometimes roll that over and do a little walk if I'm not doing a workout. conferences are over they were great we got to meet with both of the boys teachers and hear how they're doing in school what they're doing well with and what of course you know they need to work on so it was great we told the boys how proud we are of them now we're just gonna kind of relax they are downstairs just relaxing I just finished a blog post about gingerbread man activities um I got a piece of chocolate now I'm gonna lay here for about 20 minutes and listen to my audiobook before we have swim and all the other activities of the night. All that being said, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. So, oh, hi, silly. Oh, hello. Hello. Boy. Good boy. All that said, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed following along these last couple days, and I will be sure to upload another one in a few days. See you in the next one. Bye.